How's it going YouTube? Back on the channel again. As you saw in last video, we picked up a neat little beauty here. 2013 Chevy Malibu uh, 1LT comes premium with some bug stains on the front. Um, I picked this car up about two weeks ago, a couple weeks ago. I've been looking for a new car because the pickup is uh, not good mileage. You guys can understand that about anywhere from 7 to 11 miles a gallon this baby's supposed to get me 25 to 30 you know 20 to 30 depending on how much city and how much highway but no I've been looking for a car for a while and this thing showed up crazy low miles crazy good price you know all the options I needed I, I don't need a high option vehicle but it's all I, all I needed so looking at this car, um, uh, it is 2013 Chevy Malibu, like I said, it's the 1LT trim level. So it, it's pretty basic, it's just one level above like super basic, but it's got, you know, everything I really need. You got the Bluetooth auto start, you know cruise control that that's all i need that's all i'll ever really need but what really sold me on this car was the price and the miles now price was about um after after tax title license all that uh, about 12 about twelve thousand dollars um which isn't unheard of for a car, you know, six years old, but it's a pretty base model. But what floored me about it was the mileage. It's only got 29,000 miles in three years. Now, some people might be wondering why. Oh, God, I'm facing you right at the sun, aren't I? Uh, sorry about that. Some people might be wondering, well, why does it have such low miles for a car six years old? And um, what we were able to figure out, me and the dealer, is a two-owner car. First owner is more likely a three-year lease. And they just didn't drive it that much. They sold it with 11,000 miles after their three years. And then... You know through the system and all that and got bought off by another person pretty local uh, town pretty close to us um, she uh, bought it you know at that same 11,000 got it up to 29 two years and spent two winters with it well between two North Dakota you know upper Midwest winters and, uh, you know, a growing family, I think, was the other problem. This little front-wheel drive car is, is not good enough for that. So she traded in for an SUV at the same dealership I bought this from. And he said he knows the person, he knows the family. Another small town, kind of like us. But So, I mean, that's why it's kind of how it got such low miles. Um, and you know, I'm just absolutely floored. I found this steal of a car that has no issues whatsoever so far. Besides, I, as I say that, um, I don't know if you can see it too well. There is some 
creasing here and some breakage in the plastic and then another dent right in the metal and this is all plastic but this is an actual metal piece um, I'm not too worried as you guys know on the pickup I have quite the arrangement of dents and dings and that thing so uh, let's take a look on the inside so it's your typical uh, 2013 Malibu you know, center automatic this little key fob with the switchblade key parking brake slide out cup holders little cubby hole um, passenger glove box and this is what this uh, found I found this a few days after buying it there's a passenger glove box so I just keep all my insurance and everything in there so it's nice and easy because in the pickup there's a little clip I can put here but it's just another mirror and then the usual mirror on that side got the sunglass holder that I'll never use you know you got the lights and your three programmable doors with a steering wheel let's start over here actually so you got your normal lights controls and all that and you're dimming dimming brighten the console lights um, you got your stick there for your highs and lows and turn signal and then your menu and select button for the center uh, screen I'll show you in a little bit later uh, left side of the steering wheel you got your cruise control settings so on or off cancel set resume up and down this side you got your radio source volume and then your call option then you got your wiper settings and uh Oh, button. I was going for a tow haul button. Nope. Center console, your volume, your uh, tuning channel, favorite home source, call, cancel, mute, back, um, disc eject, clock, pause play, seek, settings, tone, and info, your basic. I mean your basic HVAC system, you know, hot, cold, fan up, down. You got your door lock, door unlock in your middle as long as on each door. Traction control, parking brake, PRDN, PRND, M, so you can bring it all the way back to manual and shift up or down manually. Absolutely pointless. But one thing that Chevy did really nice with between the Cruise, Malibu, and Impala is they made use of the you know thin screen technology and put a little hiding cubby hole behind the eat every most of the models um, there are a couple actual like super well hidden hiding spots in this car uh, I'm not gonna show you because then you can know where all my money is but yeah, so then, you know, passenger door, you got your door lock, door, and then your window up, down. Driver door has all the controls. Uh, lock, door, four windows, uh, child lock the windows, and then your uh, side view mirrors. Um, yep, there's the mileage, as you can see. 29333, good time to end it. Um, actually, let's go through the middle menu. Let it run its course, turn the radio off. Jersey Mike's authentic since 19. Turn the radio off. Get it delivered by Bite Squad. Over eight or We're just down. Okay. Oh, let's shut it up. So right now you're at your mile per mile per hour current speed. Trip one. So this is 61 miles on the current uh, full tank. Trip two. I'm keeping as how many miles I put on the car. So I've put on 164 miles on the car so far. Estimated fuel range of the gas tank, 358 left in the tank. Uh, you're instantaneous in your average. I have not seen it move away from 22.2 MPG this whole time. Average vehicle speed, 25. I do a lot of town driving. Timer, 
and navigation. It, then you hit the uh, menu button and it'll bring you to the second menu. Uh, what unit you use, yep, we use US menu. Tire pressure sensors, oil life, current battery voltage, and back to that. So we then you hit menu again and then it's back to your normal menu. Um, up here on the radio, you got all your settings, you know, your radio, phone, AM, FM, XM, Pandora, Stitcher, CD, USB aux, Bluetooth, tone, settings, all the other stuff. Um, but yeah, let's get out. It's starting to get hot in here without the car on. Let's hop into the back seat. So back here, I'd say it's uh, pretty spacious. I mean, I'm a smaller smaller height wise person. I'm a pretty wide person. But I, I quite enjoy how much room there is. You got the fold down cup holders with the little center tray. And then I don't believe Oh, it does open the trunk. That's something new. So yeah, your seats fold down, you can get to the back seat whether you want the 60 or the 40 open. Um, and it actually came with a really nice um, floor liner. I don't think it's weather tech, but it's pretty close. It's pretty nice. Um, we'll pop the trunk. Nice, massive trunk back here. Lots of room. I got my cleaning supplies. One thing that I learned is back in the early 2010s, I guess it uh, it started becoming an option for spare tires. So now the baseline is the inflator kit with um, some tire slime, which works. Um, because 99% of the time it's just a little a little pinhole, not a whole blowout. But so yeah, we're gonna leave that there. Um, new car on the channel. It, we're not gonna do much to it. It's just gonna be uh, random cosmetic things if that's it. But you know, uh, enjoy some. You know, nice glory shots, some B-roll footage. I'll uh, throw some music on. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Uh, we'll have a new little segment or a new little uh, project coming up this weekend. You guys will either see it. This, yeah, should be one of these next two weekends. It should be up. We'll start a new little uh, series of videos. But thanks again for checking out the channel, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Do what you do.